Okay, so for today's workout, all you're gonna need is a broomstick and some dumbbells. I've got a few different sizes just kind of based on the activities that we are doing. Super excited for admirable arms today. Um, we are starting with a warm up with our broomstick. Uh, if you don't have weights, a broomstick is actually a good replacement for upper body. Um, we're gonna focus on some mobility to start, then go into strength. Today we are focusing on strength. Um, I want you to focus on slow controlled movements, which I will be coaching throughout the class. Um, I want you to think of all the muscles you're using and make sure you're powering them up. Um, also, when it comes to our classes, just a reminder that take rest when you need rest. If you need to take rest and we're not resting, totally fine. Just come back when you can. Be kind to your body, honor your body, and let's get this started. So the first thing we're gonna start with is an over and back. So you're going to have a nice wide grip, nice wide stance, core is strong, chest is up, and we are going to go over, and back. Now, if you have issues with your shoulders, you may not be able to go all the way back, and that's totally fine. So you're gonna go as far as you can. A lot of people can only go about here. You're gonna sit here for a second and then come down. The other thing is to be mindful that you are relaxing your shoulders. You do not want them up by your ears. So let's get started. We're doing 10 of everything today. So one, two, this is not done quickly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, okay, so the next one, what I want you to do is we're going to think of doing lat pull down. So you're going to start above your head, you can't see, I'm just up like this, and you're going to pull down while squeezing all your back muscles and you're pulling apart on the actual broomstick. So not a relaxed grip, you are pulling outwards using your strength as you pull down. So ready? Again, shoulders relax, sink them in, and let's go for 10. So there's one, think of firing up all those muscles in your back, two, three, if you're shaking, that's all right, I'm shaking a little bit too, four, five, six, make sure those shoulders are relaxed, seven, eight, nine last one here ten okay we're gonna switch the grip same wide stance with it but you're gonna go up so we're going to raise up squeeze at the top down nice and slow okay so another ten here ready let's go one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one here is 10. Okay, now the next one, this is actually something I did when I first started rehabbing after my car accident. This is all I could work out with when I started at FYI. <laughs> it was either a broomstick or a PVC pipe. So things have changed and it's taken time, but sometimes we gotta rehab our muscles. So we're gonna have the same stance, but we're gonna be out front. And all you're going to do is it's, you're gonna pull apart. One, two, and hold, relax your grip. One, two, and hold, relax your grip. So keeping it at chest level. And again, it's like you're doing, like if we're doing band pull apart to the band, it's the same kind of feeling just pulling apart and adding that resistance. So let's go to chest level and let's go. So one, two, relax your grip. One, two, relax your grip. One, two, relax your grip. That's three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine. Last one here, 10. Okay, your broomstick can go away for now. Um, we're just gonna do some arm circles and then we're gonna get started. So, chest is up and we're gonna start with going forward. So we're gonna start small. Making sure those shoulders are nice and warm. Okay, we're gonna switch directions. So again, starting small. We're gonna get bigger. And around. Okay, last one we're gonna do here is we're gonna stir the pot. <laughs> so you're gonna put one hand on one leg. And all you're gonna do is let your arm hang. And we're gonna go in the direction we are gonna switch. Three, two, one, you're gonna switch directions. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side, so hand on your knee. Start in one direction, not hand. Do my lame jokes as I teach. Three, two, one. We're gonna switch directions. Okay, very last one I lied. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna stand nice and tall, and I'm gonna have you pivot and come back. So core is super strong. Keep that chest up. We're gonna do five per side. We're gonna do one side at a time. So ready? Five. Keep that core nice and strong. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. Five, four, three, two, last one, one. Okay, so we are gonna get into our first circuit. As I mentioned, we're doing three rounds. We are focusing on that strength today. Um, we're gonna be supersetting. So we're doing two exercises and going back and forth between the two of them. 35 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. Uh, the first one that we're gonna do is a bench over fly. So if you have dumbbells, great. If not, this whole workout can be done without. Um, you're just gonna get a little bit more burn and work in those muscles. So feet are shoulder width apart. Core is nice and strong. You're gonna hinge at your hips, making sure you squeeze your bum so you don't hurt your back. And we're gonna fly open, really slow. Okay, so a couple things here. You wanna be mindful that your shoulders stay relaxed and they're not up like this by your ears. And you're opening up, squeezing at the back, coming down slow, okay? If it's too difficult to be bent over, you can bring your feet a little closer together. Just a slight hinge, so as you can see, I'm hardly bending, but my bum is squeezed, and flying open. Same motion, okay? Our second exercise that we're gonna superset it with is lateral raises. So, the narrow stance. Again, slight hinge so you're not bent over. Arms are bent and you're gonna lean with your elbows up. So, you should be feeling this in a bunch of different places. What I want you to focus on is in here and make sure all of these muscles are on. This is one part that we often forget about when we do lateral raises. We're also gonna feel it in your back, a little bit in your shoulders, but your shoulders, make sure they stay relaxed. Again, they're not up by your ears. So, go put some music on, and we will get started. So now we're starting with those flies. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. that bum is squeezed, keep those shoulders relaxed, and make sure you're squeezing at the top. I want you to think this whole workout of quality over quantity, okay? E, two, one, rest. Okay, taking a little rest. We are going into our lateral raises next. So, narrow stance, slight hinge, squeeze that bum. Two, one, go. Let's go. Please remember 
start to breathe while we work out. And if at any point you realize your form is off, reset it. So shoulders relax. Seven more seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, take a little rest. Roll those shoulders out if you want. Back to the top with our flies. So something else to keep mindful of today, make sure that core is on the whole time. Three, two, one, go. Let's fly it out. This is a really great class for today to be mindful of that core staying on. Centering that body. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, take a little rest. Roll the shoulders out. We're going into our lateral raises. So bottom of the second. Instead of a wide shoulder press, a narrow one. So dip down, push up. Okay? 
So grab your weights. We're gonna get started. Two, one, go. So slight dip and up. Keep that core nice and strong. If you need a little bit more help with your balance, you can also put one arm out. Keep that shoulder relaxed. Two, one, rest. Okay, take a rest. We're gonna switch sides. I fully chose my pants today to match my hockey nails. <laughs> two, one, go. Let's go, other side. Remember when you're going down, as you come up, you're squeezing with that bum. Powering up. You guys got it. Ten more seconds. Eight, two, one, rest. Okay, a little rest. Round two. Going on the other side. Position. Two, on. one, go. We're going to keep those shoulders relaxed, guys, not by your ears. Ten more seconds. Two, one, rest. Okay, take a little rest, switching sides. Let's get in position. Eight, two, one, go. Let's go. Now, in all honesty, something that I find really cool about our bodies is that as we get stronger, we can do different things. So to think that eight years ago, you would have never saw me do anything over my head because of the car accident I was in. And as we continue to get stronger, use our muscles, we can do more with our bodies. It's also the importance of having modifications so that you can get there. Eight, two, one, rest. Okay, a little rest, last time. And I think taking the shame out of having modifications is really important because Eight, in position. Two, one, go. Because if you're injured, for example, do you do nothing? Or do you do something so that you can see change so that you can do the things that you want in life, right? You guys got it. Fifteen more seconds. One, rest. Okay, take a little rest. Last time. We are gonna switch it up. No shoulders in the next circuit. <laughs> okay, get in position. Two, Last one, time. go. Ten seconds. 
One, done. Okay, take a rest, grab some water. And as promised, we're switching out of the shoulder work into some biceps and tricep. So, two exercises. We're gonna start with hammer curls. So instead of our grip like this for bicep curls, we're gonna flip it in. We'll go from this side. My arms are gonna stay nice and glued to my body. Shoulders are rolled back and down, chest is up. And I'm gonna go straight up, controlled down. So what I want us to think is one, two on the way up, one, two, three on the way down, okay? So again, making sure that those arms stay nice and tight, no chicken wings, okay? Then the next one is gonna be triceps. So you have two options for this. You can do this overhead. So when you're doing it overhead, keep those elbows tucked in. You're going down, I'm gonna squat so you can see the top, and up, okay? You don't wanna widen that at all, forcing those elbows to stay nice and tight. Second option is doing these tricep kickbacks. So, like you're going down a ski hill. Okay, core is strong, bone is squeezed. Again, elbows tucked in. You're gonna kick back and hold and calm down slowly. Okay, that's how I'm gonna be doing it today. Your choice and which one you wanna do. Same thing, 35 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, three times. 10 second countdown, let's start with those hammer curls. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. So one, two, one, two, three on the way down. Make sure that core stays nice and strong and that bum is squeezed. bum squeeze so you don't feel it in your back. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, a little rest. Going back to hammer curls. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. So remember, one, two, one, two, three. Core strong, bum squeezed. One, rest. Okay, take a little rest, back to triceps. Okay, get in position. Three, two, one, go. So remember, we're going to slow down after squeezing at the top. One, rest. Okay, a little rest. 
this last round, guys. Get in position. E. Two. One. Go. Go. Now wrap slow and down even slower.
seconds. You guys got it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, a little rest. Switching to that underhand row. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Remember, squeeze at the top and release slowly. Keep the core strong, bum squeezed. We only got one more round of this after this. One, rest. Okay, a little rest. Back to the top. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. One, rest. Okay, a little rest. Last time with that underhanded row. Let's get in position. Three, two, one, Let's go. go. Let's get started. 
So starting with that chest press. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Up, down, nice and slow. Remember to keep that core nice and strong. You want to make sure you stay along that nipple line as you go up. Last 10 seconds, I'm gonna have you pump them out. So we're gonna go a little bit faster. Three, so a little bit two, better. one, rest. Okay, take a rest. We're going into our skull kissers next. So remember, you're only bending at your elbow and pushing those elbows in nice and tight. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. This one we're doing nice and slow. One, rest. You're gonna take a little rest. You're gonna grab your lighter weight for over and back. Okay, three seconds. Eight, Get in position. Two, one, go. Over the head. And back. Keep those elbows nice and tucked in together. One, rest. Okay, a little rest. Back to the top with our chest press. Round two, guys. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Driving up, down, slow. Chest 
And at that nipple line, engage that core, try that belly button to be right. Two, one, go. And up, and down slow. We're gonna get ready. The last 10 seconds, we're gonna pump them out fast again. So I will let you know when we're at 10 seconds left. I'm just gonna say go, okay? And go, pump them out the last 10 seconds. Eight, two, one, rest. Nicely done. Heading to our skull kissers. So above your head, again, nice and controlled. Eight, two, one, go.
five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, knees are up. We're going into those ankle reaches. So remember, neck is relaxed. You're not using your neck. You're using your core. Three, two, one, Let's go. go. Side to side. This is not done quick. You'll get dizzy. So if you're trying to keep that core engaged, targeting those obliques. Five seconds. Eight, two, one, rest. Okay, flip it over. We're going for those plank reaches. Remember, toes meet your box, and you're tapping out in front of you. Three, two, one, go. Keep that core nice and strong. Try not to rock. Remember your modification is on all fours. Just keeping that core nice and strong. Holding up that body weight. We got five seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, last time. This time we are doing our left side. So left hand, your right foot. Three, okay. two, Let's one, go. go.
down. And we're going to go into an upper body stretch. So you're going to stretch arms out nice and wide, thumbs are up, shoulders down, chest up, squeezing behind you. Thumbs down, squeeze again. The last time up. Um, just remember, keep stretching, lots of water, um, take care of your body, be kind to your body and honor it for the things that it just did. Have an amazing day.